this video is going to be checking the, re the resistance on each one of the injectors. Um, on this one, the first thing you need to do is to look and see if there's any specification in your service information about the, res the resistance on each one of the injectors. Some engines um, have a specification for resistance, some don't. Uh, this particular one, I could not find a, a, um, a specification for how much the resistance should be on each one of the injectors. So in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and check the injectors for resistance and we're going to compare them all and see if they're all uh, the same. Um, they should be the same. So if they are, we're going to call it good. If they're not, then we'll look and see what the problem is. And so, once I find the bulk connector, then I can get to all the injectors there. I don't have to actually go inside the intake manifold plenum assembly. So let's go ahead and get started. So the bulk connector for the, in, the injectors is right here. I'm going to disconnect that. And then I'm going to go to the injector side of the, of the harness. And if you look back at the video I did on uh, the injector waveform, there is, I looked up the, the wiring diagrams for this particular vehicle. And for each one of the injectors, there's a pink wire going to it. So what I did is I'm back probing one pink wire, which is common to all of the injectors. And then once I back probe that, then I can clip my meter onto it. And now I've got a good ground for my meter. And I can go through and I can test the rest of the injectors. So each one of these injectors, the pins, uh, the injectors are going to go right along this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure the resistance on each one of these pins, 14.3, 14.5, 14.5, 14.6, and 14.5. So that's as hard as it is. Uh, so we'll see you in the next video.